What is up and welcome back to the Sticky Art Channel. If you're new here, my name is Justin and in this video I'm going to be testing be testing out 80 alcohol-based markers from Parku, similar to the Copics, but economically priced. These are a great option for more of a beginner artist looking to get a large set of colors. They're going to be dual-sided. One side is going to have a bullet nib and the other side is going to have a chisel nib for getting bigger areas. Compared to the Copic Sketch, which are going to have a brush marker on one side and then a chisel nib on the other side. And the other thing that I noticed with the Parku markers is the chisel nib is a little bit bigger than the Copics. Other than that, they're both an alcohol-based marker, and I think they both work really well. Um, if you're trying to get into really small, tiny areas, the Copics are going to have a little bit more control just because they do have a little bit smaller nib. And the brush has a very pointy tip and you get very small areas with. I really like that this set includes a divider in the bottom to keep all the markers in place. This is especially handy considering how many markers and a lot of the cheaper options do not come with this. So I think this is a really nice feature. That being said, they're both alcohol markers and they have a tendency to bleed, especially if you're not using marker specific paper. So I actually did use their swatch which their paper was not marker specific paper and it did bleed a little bit but I was able to for the most part get inside the lines even though the lines for their swatch are very very thin and for the most part I like to swatch all of the colors just because the caps do not always match exactly what the actual ink looks like on the paper. That being said I do find it the best thing is if you can swatch your colors on the paper that you're going to be using or a sample piece of paper and that way you know exactly what you're going to get when you put the colors down. So I was really impressed with this set. There's a wide variety of colors, saturated, desaturated colors, as well as skin tones, and a lot of good grays, as well as a gold and silver, which I was surprised the gold and silver both have kind of like a glitter inside of the ink. And to test out these markers, I had the perfect project that I had started actually last year, and I wanted to color in. So I had these characters that I created called the Potato Gang. They're essentially just people that I met and they requested me to draw them as potatoes. So they requested different features, different things that they're wearing, and what kind of potato they were, if they were mashed potato, baked potato, french fry, sweet potato, you name it. So I went ahead and I inked these in and I really liked all the different colors and also the ability to blend the different markers as well as get solid even coverage and really bright colors is something that I really like about alcohol-based markers. So with that all being said, let's finish coloring the potatoes. Overall, I was really pleased with the results that I got with the Parku markers. I think they're a great economical option out there. If you are looking for brush markers, I do recommend the Ohuhu brush markers for an economical option, as well as the Copic sketch markers, which are going to be a little bit more pricey, but I definitely recommend them as well. And all the affiliate links will be in the video description below. If you do choose to use any of the links, a small portion of the sale will go to the channel to help support it at no extra cost to you. Thanks again for watching the video. If you do have any questions, let me know in the comments below. And if you did like the video, make sure to hit the thumbs up button as well as subscribe and turn on notifications for when I post my newest videos. And until next time, peace.